The high-profile associate of notorious gang leader Bindi Johal. Natalie Clancy takes us through the convicted drug dealer's violent criminal past. The first attempt on Ranjit Shima's life was back in 1995. The bullets that shattered this glass hit the head of the loosely affiliated Punjabi mafia outside a karaoke bar. Chima took five bullets to the chest and abdomen and spent six weeks in a coma. Paramedics credited Chima's survival with his heavy use of steroids. A few months later, his family's home was targeted in a drive-by shooting. Whoever it was was a coward. You know, if they're sending me a message, you know, this, isn't, this is my family's house. I'll be back soon. I'll be out there real quick. Chima was a well-known associate and co-accused of Bindi Jahal, one of BC's most notorious and outspoken gangsters. You got another thing coming, bitch. I'm still around. Though not for long, Chima's pal Johal was killed execution style in a crowded nightclub. The same year, Chima made international headlines after he was caught trying to move 200 kilograms of heroin into North America using an informant working for the DEA in Seattle. While he fought extradition, many others around him were killed. In May 2000, Chima was at a wedding when his bodyguard Mike Brar was gunned down outside. Two years later, he was with Robbie Candola the night he was gunned down outside his Coal Harbour penthouse. At the time, associates blamed Chima's own crew. Chima was only released from prison three months ago, just a week before Sandeep Dure was executed inside the Sheraton Wall Centre. Former gang detective Doug Spencer dealt with Chima several times and says at age 43, Chima outlived many of his associates. He's like the grandfather of gangsters, him and Gisby, to live that long. It's almost unheard of. You know, the, the clock's ticking with all of these guys. Do you think that we'll see some retaliation? It depends how their associates take it. If they take it like somebody's taking him out, they're going to get me too. They'll preemptively go and pay back. If sources are right, Chima leaves behind a wife, a seven-year-old daughter, and a legacy of gang activity that some fear will only lead to retaliation and more violence. Natalie Clancy, CBC News, Vancouver.